Now, while inspecting the data frame, besides understanding the structure of your data, that is, you know how many rows and columns are present, you know the data types of the individual columns, all this information you know. But besides this, you will also want to understand the statistical properties of the individual columns in your data frame. To understand that, the df.describe function is very useful and this is the most widely used function for that. Just by running this, you will get, first of all, you will get the number of count, how many non-zero elements are present in your data, the mean, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, 25th quartile, 75th quartile and the median. All this information is available for all the numeric columns. For all the numeric columns in your data, all this information is present. That is possible using df.describe. Now, as you would notice, we don't have additional information. We don't have such information for string or categorical data. To get such statistics for categorical data, we use a different package, a very useful, very popular package. This is not pandas, this is pandas summary package. If you have not installed it earlier, you need to first install it using pip install pandas hyphen summary. After installing it, just import data frame summary function and pass your data frame to this particular function. All right, on doing this, let's see the output. On doing this, it will create a DFS data frame summary object. Look at the column stats. This gives you the basic information of all the columns present inside the data frame. That is the number of rows present inside it, number of missing, missing percentage, data type, number of unique values. This is the basic information about all the columns in your data frame. Now, besides this, you can also know individual columns statistical properties. Previously, Describe gave you the mean, standard deviation, median and all. On top of that, if you look up the respective column, for instance, this is state. This is a categorical column, by the way. For categorical column, it will give you only this. That is the number of counts, number of unique values, missing values, missing percentage. This is the maximum information that you will get. But for numeric columns, it gives a lot more information. On top of the information that Describe gives, this gives you, besides mean and standard deviation, it gives you the variance. Min and max is given by Describe itself, so that's okay. Mode is nothing but the value that is most often repeated. So 105 is the value that is most often repeated. All these different percentile values, interquartile range, kurtosis, skewness, sum, mean absolute deviation, coefficient of variance, number of zeros, percentage of zeros, deviation from the mean, deviating of mean percentage, deviating of median, deviating of median percentage, top correlations that is supposed to give you what, what are the other variables that are highly correlated to this variable. So this is this information is not present. The total count, the total number of unique values, missing count, missing percentage and the data type. So you can clearly see the richness of the statistical information that this particular package provides us. So this is a package that you will definitely want to remember at the back of your mind.